we're going to talk about being an adult for a minute today, okay? As someone that's been on the internet, as someone that's, you know, obviously known and associated with people, there's been a lot of people I've come across that really don't act their age, right? I'm not talking about some 16-year-old that tries to act like they're 28. No, I don't deal with minors in any capacity. You know, in, in stark contrast to people like Dr. Disrespect and people on YouTube, right? But like, that aside... There are people who are 25, 28, and they act like they're 16, and I think that's a problem. Obviously, being anonymous here, we I had a situation where somebody tried to come back into my life recently, right? And, you know, there was, a, there was a dialogue, there was a back and forth, right? And they wanted to grab my attention. And, you know, that's fine, right? Hey, cool, let's go grab a beer. You know, hey, hey, Daryl, haven't seen you in forever. You know, let's go, let's go to the bar. Let's go catch up, right? Those, right? That kind of thing, right? And that's totally fine. But the situation ended up escalating into a just every time they kind of wanted to just like force me into a voice call when i'm off stream when i'm not doing video work i'm usually in a private voice call with you know a, a couple members of the mod team i handpick my mod team because i feel comfortable with them i can spend eight hours in a call with them whether we're talking or not and we're having a good time right that's how i pick my mod team and for people to try to really push that it's a little odd to me. And one thing that I feel as an adult that you should practice is if somebody's trying to grab your attention, especially if you guys left on a sour note, if you guys haven't talked to each other in a while, have that probationary mindset kind of thing. You're not immediately vilifying the person. What you are doing is you're saying, look, I don't know where the situation's going. I don't know what you're wanting. This is kind of sudden. You're just back here trying to act like everything's as it used to be. I, I, I you know, I'm going to continue doing what I do and I'm going to monitor the situation. I think that's an incredibly adult and reasonable mindset. So how this evolves over the week is that they're not getting my attention, right? Because I'm tired. I'm going out to shields. I'm doing stuff, right? And it evolves into a situation where this person ends up just complete paragraphing at me being like, well, it's almost like I'm the problem and, you know, uh, you're not really recognizing me. And, you know, I, I it's it, it, some weird cringe stuff that I've blocked out of my memory. Something along the lines of like, oh, nobody ever likes me it's like massive guilt trip status. Right. And naturally, as I am, I'm in the I was in the middle of 14 roulettes. As I do at that point, I, I do an entire paragraph. And I feel I was the adult in the situation, even though realistically I could have just let the situation die, right? You know, it was like, look, I get what you're going through. I get depression. I understand all that. You need to take a break. You step away from your PC for a bit. You need to drink some water, touch some grass for a bit. Then before you try to sever a relationship, you need to think about this, right? I had this whole thing written out. Send it. They had already blocked me. So what we can learn from that situation is that when somebody is trying to make decisions for you, that is a red flag. Th that's it. Like, it's a red flag. If I were to, random chat member, right? If I were to tell you, well, you're going to have to watch this video, right? Who am I to tell you that, right? Or if we were, say, on a, like, friend-to-friend -friend basis, right? And I were trying to force you into, I don't know, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! when you had plans to go see a movie or go hunting or something like that, right? I mean, you might, you're going to be like, no, like, I'm doing other things, which is logical and reasonable right so what encounter what we encounter here is a situation in which an adult is choosing to be narcissistic and engage in guilt tripping which is never never a good sign i've had to deal with a number of narcissists i've had to deal with a number of people that are just not the best people and unfortunately it kind of skews it. I have so many wonderful people coming out, right? I have so many people coming out to the stream, coming out to the Discord, and I, I'm really appreciative of each and every one of you. It's the weird, unfortunate few that try to push those boundaries. And, and really, you cannot just apply it to my situation, but other situations as well. Say you have a, a, a large YouTuber you like, a large Twitch streamer you like, another VTuber that you like, which, contrary to popular belief, you can watch other VTubers and not just me, right? <laughs> No, there's that weird thing where, oh, how dare you watch other VTubers? Or, oh, you watch other VTubers? Dude, watch it. I don't care. Go for it. They're probably more talented than I am. <laughs> so, when you this, this is just a cautionary tale. And if somebody is trying to grab your attention, especially after if they're coming back into your life, it's okay to be on your guard. It's okay to be cautionary, right? You're not a dick. You're not this you know, horrible person, much as they'd probably have you believe it, 
right? You have every right to protect yourself in a situation like that. And at the end of the day, me being cautious was the correct call. Once again, Kip was right. Kip hates being right. I There is nothing I dislike. Well, there's a few things I dislike more. I really dislike being right because that means that I've solved a situation, right? That's like going into a Destiny raid or a Final Fantasy 14 raid, right? Or going into a new activity, right? And going bam, 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 done. I understood everything, right? How it's boring, how there's there's nothing there, nothing exceeded or your expectations, nothing in any way, shape, or form surprised you. You didn't have to work for it, right? That kind of thing. Going into a situation like that, saying, yeah, this guy needs to be on probationary watch. A week later, I'm getting paragraphed at, and just it's the most like 16-year-old my chemical romance cringe stuff. I love my chemical romance. <laughs> yeah. For, for clarification. But what I'm saying is when we're getting to that super edgy territory of just, you know, guilt, uh, guilt tripping, shaming, etc. That's when you need to really just, just drop someone. That is a good sign that somebody's one, not doing well, but two, especially when they send it and leave no room for response that, that they're not genuine. So, I hope that you've appreciated or at least gained some insight into this using my own experience. And I hope that this can help you in your own situation because it's not, this is far more common than people let on. A lot of people end up don't end up doing this. A lot of people just aren't, they're not there. Right. Or they don't have cognizance. Right. And it's a problem because you can be doing the best that you're trying to do, or you can be exhausted, right? You can be doing everything you're trying to do. And somebody's still just going to come along and just absolutely sucker punch you, which is not fair to the just astounding amount of people that have come out to support because one bad person, one bad apple ruins the bunch. And you can apply that to any situation that you want. Community used to follow the few bad people ruined it. Me and anime conventions, anime conventions in Idaho were good up until about 2009 and 2010. You sure you had the few weird people, right? But it really started to go downhill about 2012 and after. And it's actually spread to other conventions as far as I'm aware. We've had an unfortunate few people kind of become this weird situation where I don't even want to go to anime conventions. Or at least go to anime conventions alone at that point. If You know, have a drinking buddy at that point. (laughs) But uh, let me know what you thought of this. Let me know if you're liking these, uh, you know... These, these short little Kip rants, you know, these are things that I go through, things that I feel that people could gain insight from, things that I can rant on for a little bit of time for, you know, eight to 10 minutes, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, I, being anonymous as I can, uh, if you think that you're the target of it, you're probably not. It, it, <laughs> you, you most likely are not the target of this. Um, but just take what you can from this. And, and as an adult, make sure you're reflecting what you can, but sometimes there's nothing to reflect on. Sometimes people are just idiots. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. Go grab some water, go grab some food, touch some grass for a little bit, right? That's the one and have a good one.